first time I went to a production line, I was actually really shocked with what I saw. It's a robotic, very intensive work. To me, it didn't seem like the kind of work that should be done by people. <laughs> From that moment on, I always felt uncomfortable with the idea of working within such system. kind of a need to find other ways to think about fashion and to communicate fashion. So the system went so fast, so fast that now it's kind of tearing itself apart. But I've been expecting that for some years now and it still didn't entirely happen. So the system is still going, it's still producing. I don't know what is going to be the breaking point, but it's definitely close. And I think it's, it's already in transformation. There's a lot of new ideas and new ways to look upon fashion. Necesitamos a gente como ella y necesitamos a mucha más gente, porque si no acabamos viendo lo mismo repetido en bucle. Es gente que se sale de lo que, entre comillas, hay de hacer, está más interesada en, su, en el desarrollo de conocimiento, en la experimentación, en lugar de lo que sería el hacer lo que la otra gente le ha dicho o lo que el mercado necesita. Yo creo que es muy importante. I wouldn't do things if I was not looking to be surprised. So it's about me surprising myself and surprising others. And I think there has to be that mystery of not knowing what is going to happen. And that's what excites me about experimentation. La experimentación te reafirman o te acotan otras opciones que no, que no te imaginabas. Yeah, so it's a bit like magic. And I was really excited about the fact that my work was, was generating a response from other people. I mean, that's basically the reason why I do my work. El proceso de trabajo han sido tres días intensivos de ideación y prototipado de las piezas. Hemos trabajado con diferentes materiales. Hemos acabado sacando tres conjuntos de máscaras o de, o de pieles. De alguna manera proyectaban un perfil diferente de cómo la tecnología actúa en el día a día ante nuestra identidad. It was really rewarding meeting them and a beautiful idea to bring together these different universities and people from different backgrounds and putting them together, different disciplines, to create something that it is um, a hybrid in between the disciplines. Es muy interesante que el FAT organice este tipo de, de eventos, salen un poco de, de lo establecido. Creo que es muy importante porque estamos acostumbrados a que las asociaciones de diseño lo que hacen es más fomentar lo que ya existe, lo estándar, lo que la gente conoce en lugar de presentar una cosa nueva. Nos hace reflexionar. <laughs> yeah, we have all this in front of you and now you have to look relaxed and it's all normal. Okay. <laughs>